credit goes to Fetasia Customs for starting this little trend on dyeing dolls. This tutorial is going to show you how to specifically dye Monster and Ever After High dolls. I will be covering everything that should be answered with dyeing your first doll, from what to expect, how to clean it up, and what's the best dye to use. Please, most importantly, have fun. This is a new and exciting way to get different colors of dolls. Don't be nervous, it is extremely easy. Just some important notes before dyeing your doll. The most important thing is to get polyester dye. You can use eye dye poly or RIT dye more. In this tutorial, I will show the effects for both. You do not want to follow the instructions on the bottle. We are not dyeing fabric, we are dyeing plastic. The dye adheres quicker to the plastic, so it only takes one to two minutes for the doll to become fully dyed. Do not exceed the time. It will start to misshape and melt your doll. Different body parts will dye the same color, however, there will be a slightly different shade. It is not possible to dye a darker color, doll lighter color, so keep in mind which doll to use. Moving on to the materials list. You will need your polyester dye. You also, of course, need a doll. A stainless steel pot. Some metal tongs. And some paper towels for cleanup. Time for the fun part. Fill up your pot with water. If you aren't sure on how much water to put in, just put a doll in and make sure it's submerged in water. It's completely optional to you if you want to do this outside on a grill or inside on your stovetop. It would be more of a risk to do it on your stovetop in case of spills. If you're doing it outside, I recommend boiling your water first inside and then transferring it outside. It will take a while for a grill to boil water. If you're doing it inside, welcome to the Dangerous Club. All you really have to do is not stir it quickly. The dyes do have a smell, so if you're sensitive to different smells, I recommend doing it outside or wearing a mask. It smells like burnt rubber. Now just wait for your water to boil. Starting with eye dye poly, add the dye packet. and then add the color intensifier. Carefully stir till there is no more clumps. I will be using this Frankie Stein. Just simply dunk the head underwater. Note that the longer the head is underwater, the darker the color will be. Make sure you bend the joints for the body so you can dye those as well before putting her underwater. After you dyed the doll, put the doll into another metal bowl or your sink filled with cold water. Leave the doll in for two to three minutes. Next, I'll be dying with Rick Dye More. Be sure to shake up the bottle before pouring it in. Once again, slowly stir the water. I'll be using a Papio Hair Ever After High doll. I left her in longer than two minutes because yellow is a bright color and I wanted it to stand out. Make sure you bend those joints. And here's how she turned out. This is how to clean up. Basically, you just want to pour your water down the drain and rinse it out and then wash it with warm soapy water. As for the sides of your sink, in case you do get a little bit of stainage, just take a wire sponge and some soap. 
for the purpose of this video, I decided to try out some of the other colors from both dyes. Here we have a Rip Dye More Super Pink Frankie Stein. I also used I Dye Poly Pink for this Draculaur, which turned out more magenta. Next is a Laguna Blue that I dyed I Dye Poly Orange. And I also dyed Abby Abominable. Next, I used a Kala with the I Dye Poly Kelly Green. It turned out to be more of a forest green because Kala starts out purple. And as for our GG Experiment Grant, we will talk about her more later. Let's just say it was a complete success. Next, I did a turquoise eye dye poly with Rochelle Ghoul. I left her in for a little amount of time so she would be a lighter color. With the same color, I used Cleo Denial as the doll, and I left her in longer to have a darker color. You can see here the time affects the color. Next, I did another Abby, and I used I Dye Poly Violet. I think she turned out to be my favorite. And this is where it all went wrong. I used Kentucky Sky Rip Dye More. I kept Cleo in there for about four minutes, but she became extremely rubbery and I did not want to risk her melting. But as you can see in this next clip, well... She got more tinted than actually dyed. So I thought, hey, let's try it with Kala, because I wanted to have her a green to blue gradient. But once again, all it did was just kind of tint the doll. Moving on, I used Rip Dye More Chocolate Brown on Angulia Yelps, and I think she also turned out very beautifully. Moving on to my final thoughts and opinions. Overall, I think this is an extremely fun and easy way to get the color of a doll. However, you are risking the chance that the sum of the joints, such as forearms or legs, do not die. However, blushing or painting the legs is a really easy fix. Starting off with the hot pink Frankie, all of her joints died and she died pretty evenly throughout the doll, which I'm pretty happy about. Next is the Frankie that is dyed red. She also evenly dyed throughout the doll and I think she turned out a beautiful color. Her joints did dye. Next up is Laguna that I dyed orange. I think she would make a really cute clownfish. It wasn't until after I dyed her that I noticed that she had Claudine's hands. That's why her hands died instead of her forearms. Her legs also did not die, unfortunately. The orange Abby turned out pretty well, however her joints did not die, but she did regain her shimmer, which is really nice. Next is the Poppy O'Hare that I dyed yellow. I kinda accidentally stained the sides of her face a bit, however her legs dyed a lighter color and her arms dyed a darker color. Unfortunately, I made the mistake and I forgot to dye a doll just completely green. Um, however, Kala did turn out this nice forest green. The camera doesn't pick it up. But her joints did not die and I will probably be definitely dyeing her a solid color again. Because this was just a total fail and I feel so bad. Next is the turquoise Rochelle. Unfortunately, I had her too close to Poppy, that's why her face is also stained yellow. 
her legs and uh, arm joints did not die, unfortunately, but she turned out a beautiful blue. The Cleo Denial that I dyed the same color, she turned out really beautiful as well. Her joints and legs also did not die. I wonder if it has something to do with the dye itself. Maybe some dyes do not dye legs. Moving on to the purple Abby, she also regained her shimmer and she died out pretty evenly all around. I think she is really one of my favorite colors to dye. Her joints and legs did die as well. Next is the Gulia that I dyed chocolate brown. She kind of had the same effect that Draculaura did where she dyed different shades of the brown and her legs did not die. Uh, this is the experiment GG. I put epoxy on her chest and hot glue and I also wanted to see if we could make a more neutral skin tone by changing her natural pink tone and adding green to it. You can kind of see on her leg that it did change a bit, but if you leave the doll in too little, it will become splotchy everywhere. But if you leave the doll in too long, it'll become green. The hot glue melted and the epoxy dyed a darker color, so I don't recommend doing either of those on the doll. I also dyed her a few different colors to see if they would mix, but it seems that the Kelly Green kind of overpowered it all, so she did not dye different colors. And then finally we have this veil of a Cleo Denial. I used Kentucky Sky from Rit Dye More. I think it had something to do with the dye itself, because it didn't even stain my pot. like. The other dice did. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna be dying her again in the future to a more prettier color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned enough to dye your own doll. I would love to see your creations over on my Instagram. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the comments or directly to me on my Instagram. Happy dying! Oh god, that sounds awful. <laughs>